Hey everybody, it's Adam, live and in person for you. Hey everybody, it's Adam, wonder who he'll interview, call me Adam.com. Well, good afternoon everyone, and my name is Adam Rothenberg, and I am so excited to be back in the closet doing a new interview with Barbara Blyer and Austin Pendleton for their upcoming cabaret shows. Austin and Barbara sing Richard Rogers and dot, dot, dot. So it's going to be, um, I'm excited to hear about the dot, dot, dot part. <laughs> so... Yeah. Now, you both have been performing for 23 years together. This is also like the 23rd anniversary of you guys performing together. Um, what has the two plus decades of working together taught you about collaboration? Interesting question. We yeah. always ask interesting yeah, questions. Right. I think we've kind of gotten to the point where we can finish one another's sentences. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that happened some time ago. Yes, actually. yes. I think that may have even been true yeah. from the beginning. Is a... <laughs> <laughs> but there, there really is yeah. a connection. Yeah, over that time, and um, you know, as far as collaboration goes, um, I think that's something we've always done. Mm -hmm. Really, you know, we we've um, done it on and off on and off we we i mean i mean we started a long time ago but the current state was 2016 yeah yeah that, when we've done it more frequently yeah and we've yes. done it continually since yeah. then and in that time i think probably we've grown to know one another's tastes ticks um, and, vulnerabilities, and vulnerabilities which is a lot of which fun, is a lot to to too. Yeah, that's really true. Yeah, that's really true. Yeah, right. And do you ever, how does, since you mentioned that you, you really know each other's vulnerabilities, how does that play into your shows or, or how does that, um, you know, help each of you knowing how, how, what the other person's vulnerabilities are? Well, I um, I had three great acting teachers, Uta Hock and Herbert Berghoff and Robert Lewis. And and Robert Lewis's mantra in his teaching was talking and listening. And and um, and, and when you would do a scene um, and then and then and then after, after after I studied with him, we were friends. We kept up for the rest of his life, and he would come to see productions uh, I directed or was acting in. And the first thing he would always say was, uh, uh, "The talking and listening in this one was good, or the talking and listening in this one was not quite up to your usual stand." But that was always the first thing he talked about. So that whole, really, it's such a simple idea, but. It's a profound idea, real talking and listening. Yeah. And so that's what goes on. That's really true. That's yeah, exactly goes on true. when we, we talk to each other about the shows, but also in the shows themselves. Yeah. That that if that isn't isn't going on, it's not interesting. <laughs> and that's often what gives the song sequence, I think. Yeah. It's um believability mm -hmm. it carries the through line yeah yeah there's a through line yeah so we go over and order the order of the songs when we're preparing a cabaret the sequence as, as bob says you say i take the name in vain i don't even know the name but if i did well really what's in to you there's a blaze of light in every word. It doesn't matter which you heard, the holy or the broken. Hallelujah. 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 I did my best, it wasn't much. I 
couldn't feel, so I tried to touch. I tell the truth, I didn't come to fool you. Yet even though it all went wrong, I'll stand before the Lord of Song with nothing on my come up with the ideas for your shows is that something you each you talk about together or does one of you have the idea first and then say hey why don't we do like for your October show singing the songs of Richard Rogers and did one of you say hey let's do you know an evening of Richard Rogers songs and whatever the dot 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 is going to be and is Mary Rogers his daughter and then her son Adam Gettle Oh my gosh. Yeah. So we have three generations of yes. Yeah. And actually Austin came up with the idea for this one and I came up with the idea for the and. <laughs> <laughs> and um what has been the best part about working together? One of the best parts is that Austin never does the same thing twice. Mm so that I can never do the same thing twice. Yes. You know, and every show is, you know, we can do it 10 times and it's different every time. I did, the first year of acting that I did professionally in New York was a play called Oh Dad, Poor Dad, Mama's Hung You in the Closet and I'm Feeling So Sad. Speaking I, of closets. <laughs> I think about that, yeah. And uh, fully half that play is a scene between a young man and a young woman. And the young woman was played by Barbara Harris. Barbara Harris was a brilliant artist um, who, um, who had come to New York with an improv group called, called from, from the Second City and had caused quite a stir on Broadway with that improv group, and then she got cast in Oh Dad, Poor Dad. So she, her whole training was improvisation. Now, so now in Oh Dad, Poor Dad, it wasn't improvisation in the usual sense of the word, but she never did it. She was like a jazz artist. Yeah. And I played with her for a year. It was like a huge acting lesson for me. And so that so that instead, and then the next show I did, also directed by Jerome Robbins, was Fiddler on the Roof, and I played opposite Zero Mostel, <laughs> oh and he was off the charts doing different things every night. I mean, I mean, Barbara Harris looked classical by <laughs> comparison with him. Yeah. So the first two big shows I did in New York, both coincidentally directed by Jerome Robbins, who who was drawn to people like that, even though he, he, his own work, his choreography and everything was very set in his ways. But he, would, he, he was drawn to people who would go off in all kinds of different directions and he would encourage that. So in his two shows, first it was Barbara Harris and, and Zero Mostel. And therefore that was my on stage training. Aww. So, it's very hard for me to do the same thing <laughs> <laughs> because yeah. it really feeds me, you know, to come up with something fresh. Yeah. Like the time in Chicago where I think we were singing and oh. Austin stomped off the stage and I stomped off the stage after him. I wasn't thinking about stomping off the stage. But there we were. I've totally repressed this memory. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember your like worst onstage mishap at all? Either be between the both of you or each solo? When the when the lyricist was in the audience. Yes. <laughs> Richard Maltby, no less. Yeah. Of Maltby and Shire. 
<laughs> yes. And he couldn't remember a, a lyric. And Richard Maltby threw it to him. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Oh right. my yeah. gosh. Yeah, right. What was my biggest mishap on stage? I don't recall you having one. I must have. <laughs> I know I have. I know. And Apollonian perfection is how. Yeah, it. right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> In a play, I fell down on stage. Oh, my gosh. Yes, I was running up the stage and tripped, and people were debating whether that was part of the script or not. Oh, my gosh. Did you get injured? No. Oh, good. Good. She kept it in the show. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was Arthur Miller, and I was an institutionalized patient. That's right. Yeah. And I ran up the stairs. We we won't the go there. That's right. um, I do want to pay um, a little bit of an homage to um, your good friend and previous uh -huh. musical director, uh, Barbara Mayer Gustern. What's one story about her that you would like to share um, you know, when you when you like in thinking about putting this show together or in pr putting together the January show in London, what's a story that maybe comes up for each of you? Well, she I, I remember she was the sweetest lady in the world. And she, warm, outgoing and tough yeah. as nails when tough it came when, nails. when it came to directing. Yes. He would say sentences like, you know, I'm not believing it. <laughs> <laughs> like we like like we sang the song that brilliant song by Stephen Sondheim called Move On. Yes. And she would say, the title is Move On. <laughs> so move on. <laughs> That's right. That's an example. <laughs> she was a lovely, kind, stern yeah. taskmaster. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And always you know, made you feel like you were doing everything right, except she changed everything. Yeah, right, right, yeah. right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. She was very funny yeah. and very serious. Yeah. Yeah. Was Would it be like during rehearsals, one minute you were laughing and the other minute you were like, oh, we have to, we really have to get this now? No, no, no. It was, it was just, it was just she, if there was a, a thread, a through line through the critique she would give it was like, you're singing okay, but what is the song about? Yes, taxing, I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah. What is yeah. it? I, I'm, not, I'm not getting what the song is about. Yeah. Or, you know, sometimes she would say, I don't like, I don't like that song. And then we work on it and work on it. And she said, I like that song. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. was you know, that was like receiving the Oscar. Yes, yeah, you know, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because she really went into subtext. In fact, this is the Rogers show is the first show that we really are doing without her. Mm -hmm. We did the Sondheim Hammerstein show after her death, mm -hmm. yes. but. Um, you know, but she, but was, she had directed. She had directed it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, is it harder to put this show together without having a, a a director like her, or does it give you some kind of freedom that you you know? Well, what what it does it, what it, it it feels like to me um, is we still she still is the I wind. feel that way too. She's still the wind in our sails. Yeah. I feel that way yeah, too. You, you can almost imagine what, oh, we're yeah. doing that thing she wouldn't like. Yeah. And we're going to hear about it. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So we are very excited for your October show coming up at Pangea. And that is again going to be Austin and Barbara sing Richard Rogers and dot, dot, dot. So that is yeah. October 4th, 11th, and 25th. Uh, I will have the ticket link up on my website. And thank you both for your time today. I always love talking to you. Likewise. Yes, you too. Thank you. Yeah. He'll get the dirt and the scoop and the story for he happens to be in the know. Just ask anybody who's had him, had him, for the business of
Rob Show. Call me Adam.com.